G'day guys, Fish and Stray here. Today I'm in wild country. It's been the first time I've got to fish streams all year. I usually fish a lot of streams, but I've just been doing real urban stuff. And with adding the fact that I've got a boat now, I've been fishing a lot with a boat. But you can't beat some good old short river fishing. So anyway, I'm out here today. I'm fishing with Crucius Rod, do a real four pound timber wolf braid. I've got a, just a uni knot tied on to my four pound Jinkai leader. And on the end, I have a 164th size jig head and a little strike tiger nymph with some trout oil on it. There goes a little birdie. Um, so yeah, fishing this stream today, hopefully pull out a few trout, um, just a quick little session, but um, yeah, we'll get into it and see you guys when we're on. Eww. This video is proudly sponsored by All Goods Launceston, all your outdoor clothing needs and the best rods and great Tasmanian lures. Make sure you head in next time you're in Launceston and enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, trout was following. Oh, come on, eat it. Oh, he's right there. That's where I want to be. Come back. Eat it. He had it in his gob. So guys, I just had a little little hit there, but didn't hook up. So what I'm gonna do, I learnt this tip from Robbie. He is um, Robbie Alexander fishing. Um, he takes off the, sorry about the wind, takes off the claws, like that there and um, then you've got a smaller presentation and we'll see if that works on this trout see if he'll come back and eat it again so guys um they're they're hitting they're hitting the nymph but they're not um they're not destroying the nymph so I'm gonna switch over to the old, the old go-to MEPS, little MEPS spinner. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're following the nymph, but they're not denying, like, annihilating it. Like, I've had that one hit, and um, he was, he wanted it, but um, apart from that, been pretty pretty quiet on the nymph apart from a few follows so yeah little black maps I'll get into it and should be on soon hopefully fingers crossed oh 
first cast. Oh! First cast on the maps. And he hit it, he hit it twice. They want this little maps. Oh, he was a nice fish. I don't know if you could see him, but he was a nice fish. Oh, fish are everywhere. Fish on. He came out at the last minute and grabbed that. Ooh yeah. Good old Meps. And just like that, the Meps has done the job. Wet my hand. It's a fish cow. It's a little trout cow. Go into camera. I'll quickly just lay him down. Uh, 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 stop, stop, stop. Stop, no, 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 no. Stay, stop. Stay still. Just lay him down like that. Get to like that. Now I need to get him out. Which is often a hard task when you're fishing with a Celta. A uh, Meps on me, uh, a Meps spinner. Cause they absolutely annihilate them. Come out. Come out. Just like that, he's off. So those MEPS spinners are available at All Goods, Launceston, in all colour ranges you could possibly think of. Ones with fur, ones with, ones with stripes, ones with everything. Bright, dark, um, huge for lakes and big rivers and small for creeks like I'm using today. Um, but. Yeah, so make sure you go in there when you're in, in Lonnie next and get some top quality maps. Ew. Oh. It might have been a rock or it might have been a fish. Oh, that was a big fish. Oh, there was two fish. Look at them. The sun came out and they saw me. What do you think you're doing? Surely that's a fish. Surely that's a fish. That's not a fish, that is a harsh movement. That is harsh. Oh! Oh! 
He had it, but he dropped it. Damn it. That is a shocking cast. Do not cast like that. That's a better cast. Damn it. He won't come back too because he felt the hook. That was just a shocking cast. You're lucky I've already fished that cows. So pretty much guys, what I'm doing on these shallow streams, so they're shallow with a rocky bottom. So I'm just casting out my little meps and I'm bringing it back just quite fast. And what I'm imitating here is like, it's almost like a little tiny fish or just something trying to get into their territory and they really don't like it. And they follow it and hit it and pretty much tell it to get out of its territory and um yeah so you'll get a lot of follows on maps because they'll just be like chasing it telling it to piss off but you also get a fair few strikes like i have gotten in this past five or so minutes And they're perfect lure that for these streams that can be fished shallow as like I'm fishing in at stages less than 10 centimeters of water. And they're still coming out and smacking it. Starting to get back close to the bridge so the fish might become a bit more spooky but hopefully we can still find ourselves one or two more nice little river browns ah that's a stick not a fish Oh, and there goes a the trout. Uh, knew there would have been one there. Come on, where's the fishies? Oh, yeah, fish, fish on. Fish on. Don't think you're going downstream very far, buddy, because first of all, you're coming in to say hello to me. So there we go, second fish of the day, guys. Beautiful little trout. This one's a little bit bigger than the other one. But nevertheless, it is still a beautiful river fish. And if he would just stay there nicely for a photo, like he did, it would be absolutely brilliant. Uh, 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 wait, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. I just need to put my phone in my pocket so I don't drop it in water. Hook out just like that and boom they're such hard fighting fish these creek fish absolutely wicked Ew. my feet are absolutely frozen oh. So guys, the North Esk River, 
Oh. Well, I think that's going to end my session. Did I? Where'd it go? Well guys, anyway, that's going to end my session for today. So, the MIPS was the go-to today, but the cru um, the Crucius Rod, also, I guess I mentioned, wicked job from that. And, um, yeah. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, bit of a different one, but yeah. So it was on the North Esk River. North Esk River is a beautiful river. It's got all your separate options, short stuff like this, sea runners. Um, it's like one of the larger rivers in Tasmania, but it's only around that 80 to 100 kilometer mark. But yeah, anyway, that'll do for me. I'll see you guys at the next one. Ew.